Hello, my name is Edward J. Sullivan. I'm a 2017 inductee into the Michigan Irish American Hall of Fame in the, or in the uh, category of education. I've been active in the Irish American community in the Flint area since 1991 where I was elected a president of the Sullivan and O'Sullivan Division of the Ancient Order of Hibernians. Um, I've held every position with the Ancient Order of Hibernians, including the state vice president's position. I've been um, active with the golf committees and with several other committees. I've also been uh, the owner of Sullivan's Irish Alley and traveled to in downtown Flushing since the year 2000 with my beautiful wife, Karen. We have one child, Joe, who's 24 years old and lives in Columbus, Ohio, so we don't get to see him very often. Uh, miss him all the time. The thing that prompted me to get involved in my Irish American culture and history and all of it is that basically my brother got active in the civil rights movement in 1960s. And he kind of is, he's, well, he's first of all, he's 16 years older than I am. So it's kind of like having two fathers growing up. And my second dad, my brother Barry, was instrumental in awakening in me the love of my Irish heritage and the fact that uh, there was some inequalities that were taking place over there in Ireland and it prompted me to study and learn and become enamored with the fact that I'm Irish and that my family is Irish and that my grandparents emigrated to this country with nothing in 1920 and the struggles that they went through to, to make us part, a vibrant part of America was just a beautiful thing for me and it prompted me to want to share that story with other Irish people and with the young people especially. So I take every opportunity to do so. Um, I talk to the uh, Genesee County Women's Book Club every St. Patrick's Day. I go down and I review an Irish book with them and we talk about the book. They read it, I read it, and we talk about it and discuss it. And we talk about the history of the book and how uh, how the Irish monks traveled the world and brought culture out of the dark ages because Ireland was not as, as deeply affected by them as the rest of the world was. I go down to the Flint Children's Museum in downtown Flint every year on Christmas and talk about Irish Christmas traditions with the inner city kids that come into the museum every, every Christmas time from the inner city schools. Um, it's a beautiful thing to be Irish, and I love it and live it every day, and I hope all of you do as well.